Hey guys, welcome back to Berenses Math Club. Today we'll be learning about the different types of triangles. So the triangles are um, distributed into two categories. The first one is based off of the angle and the next one is based off of the lengths of the sides. So each of these has three basic triangles, okay? So the first one in our first category is the right triangle. The right triangle, only one of the angles is going to be a right angle, okay? And the other two angles are going to be acute. And also, a right angle is always equal to 90 degrees. So here we have a 90 degree angle, and then the other two are acute angles, which means they are less than 90 degrees. And now, the next um, triangle in this first category is the acute triangle. In an acute triangle, there are three angles, which are all acute. So all of these angles are less than 90 degrees. And then the last triangle in this first category is the obtuse triangle. In an obtuse triangle, it had there are obviously three angles, and only one of them is an obtuse angle, which means it is greater than 90 degrees. And then the rest, the other two are going to be acute, which means they are less than 90 degrees. Okay, so that's all there is for this first category. And now the second category is based off of the length of the sides. So first we have an equilateral triangle. Now just from looking at the name, equilateral is pretty much the same thing as equal. So what this is telling us is that all of the sides in this triangle are the exact same. So all three sides are the same. And if you look at it like at looking at it from like angles, it has three acute angles. Okay, remember this in an equilateral triangle, there are three acute angles. And since there are all three sides are the same, all of the angles are going to be the same as well. So all acute angles, they are all going to be 60 degrees. Okay, so this one over here, this is going to become 60 degrees, this is going to be 60 degrees, and this is going to be 60 degrees. So it makes sense because a triangle can only be 180 degrees. And if you multiply 60 three times, you get 180. And then moving on, we get have the isosceles triangle over here. In an isosceles triangle, only two of the sides are the same. So this side is the same thing as this side, and then the other one, the last la side, is different in measurement. And also, they make two same angles as well. So there are two sides are the same, and it also has two same angles. So here I have drawn these angles, okay? So this is like looking at it from the angle view, okay? And then the last type of triangle out of the six basic triangles is the scalene triangle. A scalene triangle has no same size, so it has zero same size. That means all the sides are of different measurement. Now in a scalene triangle, it could be, there's different possibilities, like if looking at it from angles, it could have one right angle and two acute angles, like over here. And then it could have all three acute angles, or it could have one obtuse angle and then two acute angles. So it really depends. So you can really make different combinations of triangles using these six basic triangles, okay? So that's all there is to this video. Now, if you want to find extra practice problems on this topic, then please go ahead and visit our website at bronsismatclub.com. And we will see you guys next time. Bye!